Hey guys, so today's challenge, we're going to build a game within, let's say, 30 minutes. That's my goal, 30 minutes. And a game is quite cool, it's a typing game, loosely based off Space Invaders, where you have random words cascading down the screen. And the aim of the game is to type in the words on the screen before they reach the bottom of the screen, otherwise it'll be game over. So yeah, um, we're going to try to build this in pure JS, HTML, and CSS and no plugins, no libraries. So let's try to build this within half an hour. I think that's a pretty reasonable target. Yeah, let's go. All right, guys, so I have my file ready, my browser ready, and my stopwatch ready. Let's go, let's do it. So I'm gonna try my best to explain what I'm doing, but if I don't do a great job at explaining, please forgive me because it's kind of hard um, to type talk at the same time. Really struggling already. <laughs> it's empty because we're going to be create elements. I should do it quick. Do it. I think that's it for HTML. Find the height of the canvas, which will be 400 pixels. Width, which will be 700 pixels. And the background, yeah, the background. Let's make it black. That's nice. See what it looks like. Nice, looks good. All right, let's go into the actual script. So this is the harder bit. Thirty one. Find our final global variables. So we're going to keep track of words on our screen. Also going to keep track of our score. We're also going to keep track. I oh, also going to um, Find our words. So actually, we want to just quickly go to search random words. Let's do 150. Okay. So we're going to have to wait um, so whenever an entity has been pressed to submit a word through the text field. So that's why we're going to do this function. Event listener takes in two arguments, key press and an event. That event will check whether the key which has been entered is 13, which represents the enter key. If so, then we're going to the default. And also, I'm going to define a function that passes in the value of that field. Set the field. So, I might as well find what um, check word is. If on screen includes the word, then we have to remove the word so it clears off the screen. So we have to write the word. Actually, let's just do it right now. So um, that the Simple. Remove the word and our score, or oh, actually before, uh, okay, score must be updated by the length of that word. And also, we're going to have to remove that word from the word on screen array. So, we're going to have to do that manually. So, I don't think there's a built in function to remove an element um, from an array. So 
display that. It's just a new score to that screen. Nice. Okay, um, it will be the score plus check word. Right now, let's actually define factory function to create our word. I'm just going to put this onto the canvas. So, document dot get and by canvas. And then we're going to create a new div. So, I'll have to set an attribute. So that um, actually we'll make the ID whatever word it contains. Style. I'm going to make its position absolute. Which we're going to randomize it. To. And we're also going to make the color white so that stands out against the black background. Now it's time to um, set the position. So I should make a so I'm gonna randomize it. So we're dealing with a 700 pixel um, canvas. So I'm gonna times it by 500 to get the middle chunk, plus 100 to get rid of the left margin. Okay, by px. Am I making sense, guys? I don't know. I'm, pro I'm probably just mumbling right now. <laughs> Hopefully the code is obvious. Yeah. And then canvas dot. No, a pen child. It's a pen child. Right. Let's actually create our words. Let's give us a thousand. Let's Okay. Um, let w equals um. And we're also going to select a random word from that um, list. We'll just copy and paste. Cool. All right. Now we're going to set a timeout whereby. So in this timer, we're going to create a word. Actually, it's a double. And we're also going to um, save that new word on into our array. We're also going to move that word. And we're going to do this um, at every 1.5 seconds. Right now, it's actually um, got a function to our word. So here, we'll have to first define the interval. Let's do it every 30. Okay. That's W. No, 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 no. First, we have to loop through all the words that are on screen. We're only concerned about moving the words along the screen. Words on screen. Okay. I'm going to chop that in. That word is. And I'm gonna let gonna find the y axis only because um they're moving vertically, so only the y value is relevant. Left. If if y is less than four hundred, which means has not yet touched the bottom of the screen, we can increment it and then we um reassign the new y value. Plus, yes. Else, um, we're gonna have to clear the interval. So, 
also going to have to remove the word of the screen so it doesn't continue messing up this condition and we're also going to alert the user that it's game over to reload the screen all right i think that's it let's just take a deep breath nine minutes 47 all right hopefully this works Oh yeah. Ooh. Yeah boy. Nice. Oh. Nine minutes under ten minutes we built a game. Yo. Feeble? Yeah. I'm I'm liking this. Oh, 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 oh. oh man. Ooh. Let's play again. I've got to improve my typing speed. So, is it ironic how if, with poor typing, you manage to build a game to improve your typing? <laughs> okay, so yeah, um, if you guys enjoyed this speed coding session, um, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Hopefully I can produce more fun content in the future. But yeah, enjoy your weekend. Bye.